Greetings, humans of YouTube. <laughs> what fun are we gonna be having today? I have been explicitly warned not to shake the box. Let's jump on into this. I've got the card. Quartz. Quartz could be amethyst, could be citrine, could be ametrine. There's so much variety in the quartz family. I really have no clue what color this is gonna be. I don't know how big it's gonna be. Let's jump on into this. All right. Not what I was expecting at all. Definitely looks like quartz. Clear, you've got some interesting inclusions or, or markings on this. I'm a little let down, guys. I was hoping for something a little bit more colorful, but I guess this is cool. Interesting crystal structure, some interesting rainbow right there. Did you know that geologists are athletic? Yeah, because I read it in Quartz Illustrated. We're actually gonna bring in a guest today. Y'all have met Christopher in the past. We're gonna have some fun today on unboxing. Talk to Christopher all about what quartz is, where it's found, and why this piece is so cool. He is a quartz king. Well, you seemed a little disappointed with your last box, so. I, was, I wanted something a little bit more colorful. Why don't you try opening this one? Oh, Christopher, you've really <laughs> outdone yourself. We talk about more color. Christopher, mm -hmm. are you familiar with the four C's? I am too? familiar with the four C's. Color, 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 and color. Color is king. Color is king. Unless you're Christopher and then quartz is king. I'm gonna have to get myself a little quartz crown I mean, now. I could have called you a princess. But I'm not the prettiest girl, you're the prettiest girl. Oh, well, shucks, thanks. What's your like favorite fact about quartz? My favorite fact about quartz is that it's tribal luminescent. Let's break it down. Yeah, tribal luminescent is basically a property that quartz shares with several other materials. If it is physically deformed, either by an impact or by rubbing or by being ripped apart, it'll actually generate light and okay. electricity. That property is actually reversible as well, so if you run electricity through it, it actually causes the crystal itself to deform or oscillate. That's so, how quartz watches work. So if I smack those two together, we're gonna have a spark? Exactly. We should kill the lights and do this. Yeah, let's do it. So what's happening is as the crystal is deformed, it actually causes movement which generates electricity. Yeah, you just can't see it in the light at all. One really fun thing that you can do at home is wintergreen lifesavers. Oh, if those. you take those and you chew them in the dark, you're basically doing the same thing. The sugar crystals, from the energy of you breaking them up with your teeth, will actually generate blue flashes of light. What is it about the sugar crystals? So you get triboluminescence from sugar as well. About half of the crystals that are out there are triboluminescent to some degree, and cool. they're using that a lot in industry. If you need to have a sensor that triggers a machine to work at a certain certain time, you can do it by deforming a crystal, it'll cause it to flash, and then that triggers your machine to do what it is that you want it to do. This might actually show it a little better as to what's going on. There's a lot more stress caused this way because basically you have an arch, so the stress will actually build up more before it's broken. Like when you're chewing it with your teeth, you're chewing it along this way, so you're not getting quite as much potential energy before it releases, yeah, but if you break, break it this way, you should see a little blue streak of lightning go right across the middle of it. Safety is always first, looks second, so we're gonna wear some safety glasses. Here you go. I make this look good. I dare you to wear those out. I ain't scared. Do it. <laughs> oh, whoa, I saw that one. Whoa, I saw that. <laughs> uh, so, the extra ones that I had over there. I don't know what you're talking about. Making it rain. The strewn field of, <laughs> of, uh, of lifesavers there. So that's tribal luminescence. That's one of the things that makes quartz kind of magical and mystic. They're Native American tribes that actually take crystals and they put them in rawhide and uh, use them for a lot of their rituals. In the dark when they're dancing with the tribe, they shake those rattles around and you get flashes of light out of that. Mm -hmm. If I was a first grader, how mm -hmm. would you describe piezoelectric? I would probably say, not exactly, but kind of what you're doing is you're knocking the electricity out of it. You're hitting it, causing those atoms to move around, causing electricity to come out. Tell me your top three favorite quartz. My absolute favorite quartz would be rutilated quartz. I love the saginated quartz when they've got any sort of inclusion in them, but rutilated quartz are absolutely just gorgeous. Love ametrine because you get that really, really gorgeous split, especially if you have like a rough crystal of it That's where you can see it naturally. Cool. And then one of my other favorites are skeletal quartz. Okay, tell me what that so is. So that's a specimen that. where you have the quartz crystal structure and you can actually see all the lines, but after the crystal formed, there was still liquid solution around it that started dissolving it again. And it starts getting skeletonized by a reabsorption. We had some fun today with quartz. Oh yes, I think you had more fun with the lightsaber. I did. Are, are you heading out? Yep, I'm out of here. Okay, well, may the quartz be with you. <sighs>
I'm really out of here on that. <laughs> it's just bad, so bad, awful. So Christopher just left, bye Felicia. But we're gonna take a closer look at what we've got going on right here. So one of the coolest things I saw on this piece of quartz were the conchoidal fractures. Each stone could have a different fracture and that is another way that you identify gemstones. I knew from the start that this was quartz because of a conchoidal fracture. There's examples right there. It kinda looks like a crater almost. Keep an eye out, you may see some like, rainbow technicolor business going on in this quartz. King of Quartz, Christopher, I learned that sugar crystals, when they are broken or, or shattered, can actually show tribal luminescence, which was pretty cool. Do you want to learn more about gemstones and gemology? Of course you do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay classy, YouTube.